everybody welcome back to my channel zen kitty unboxed where unboxings happen and i have an unboxing from a company that i have never bought from before quick lots um so i've heard about quick lots before and i've heard mixed um reviews about it some people are like yeah it's great other people are like no don't buy so i'm like well i must find out for myself so i went to their website and they have actually they sell palettes as well as mystery boxes so i was trying to find the um thing that i could buy that had the least liability which was a mystery box so their mystery boxes range from 250 dollars down to 60 dollars and guess what guess which one i picked the 60 dollar one so um yeah it's 60 dollars and it has 10 items in it so six dollars per item and spoiler alert it is jewelry so i'm um, really curious to see what kind of jewelry i can get for six dollars a piece granted when i used to buy my jewelry from catch and deals um i usually paid about a dollar per item so i generally don't like to spend more than one to two dollars per item so let's see what we got okay so yes of course it is in the tiniest box i've ever received in a mystery box yeah it's so cute look how cute okay so um how are we gonna do this i didn't get my table out because i don't really need a table for this tiny box but let's see what we got okay let me try to I never actually had to open one of these. All right, I'm just gonna slice, slice right through it. Okay, it can't be, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna rip it. <laughs> okay, it's getting ripped. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. Look at that, making a mess of it. I wanted to make it so pretty for you guys. I messed it up, it's okay. We just wanna see what's inside the box technical difficulties all right so bird's eye view there we are um yeah i mean it looks about like 10 pieces of jewelry they said um in the listing that the value for each piece could range from 20 dollars all the way up to 50 dollars. so that's pretty cool granted even if it one item did cost 50 dollars retail i would not sell it for 50 that just doesn't make sense now, does it? Because I like to give people a good deal. Okay, so this first piece is very beautiful. It is, um, they're little stars. It looks like they're on two separate chains. And the price, if you can see that, is $38. Yikes, that's a lot of money, $38. Um, and it does say, it says Broadway Ro Rose Gold. And it does have a UPC, so I'll try to search those um, later at the end of the video. Okay, so that's number one. And number two, we have a very similar necklace, in, but it's actually just gold. And it's got this funny little um, tilted square with a hole in it. I don't know what, uh, what that is supposed to represent, but there it is. And it uh, retails for $38.00. And it says gold. I don't know if these are real gold or not because there is no, not that I can tell, there's nothing that says, you know, 0.925 for silver or yada yada um, or 14 karat for gold. Okay. The next piece we have, this one retails for 42. Ooh, dropping it. And that's really pretty. It's just a, a silver ring with a gold ring in the middle um and again nothing no specifications on like what it if it's actually gold or anything like that and i'm going to definitely research this okay and then next we have oh this is really pretty and it doesn't have a retail price so i don't know look at that that is really pretty really pretty the chains do look kind of cheap like um you know, they just look like an ordinary cheap uh, chain off any type of necklace that you could buy at like Walmart or, you know, something like that. So we'll see. Okay. And then we've got some earrings. This actually would match really well with um, that necklace with the rings. That's really pretty. Really shiny. Woo, shiny. Okay. So no, no description on this one. Don't know. 
what that one is. Here's another pair of earrings. Um, they're very pretty. They're little hearts with, um, I, it's, I highly doubt that that is like a real diamond. Um, and since it doesn't have a barcode, I will never find out unless I Google Lens it. Sometimes you can find stuff using Google Lens, but not all the time. If you're lucky, you can. Okay, so this bracelet, it says it retails for $49. Holy mackerel. All right. I don't know if you can see through the packaging. Um, you know what? Let me take it out so you guys can get the full effect. After all, it's $49. So, okay. So it's, because it's kind of bendy um, gold, so you can like slip it on your wrist. And it's got some kind of really pretty little pink jewel. It doesn't look real. The jewel definitely, I mean, I don't think it's real. I don't know. It just says Talia bracelet gold with pink and clear. That's all that it says for the descriptions. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Okay, so there's that one. That one's awfully beautiful, but $49? I don't know. Okay, here's another one. It is also retails for $49. It says Talia Rhodium with Sapphire Crystal. Hmm. Uh, take it out of the bag so you all can see it. That's pretty. It says it's sapphire. Do not know if that's real sapphire. It's really beautiful though. And then, um, so this one, let me see. Cause this looks like silver. Let me see if it's stamped anywhere. Ooh, okay. This one is stamped 925. So this one is sterling silver. Uh, oh, come on, focus. Right there. See it? Really tiny. It's kind of on the side. Anyway. Yeah, so that's real silver. So that's very cool. Happy about that. Okay, and then um, we have another... Ooh, all tangled up in here. How did this happen? I don't know how that happens. All tangled up. Okay, let me try to untangle these. There we go. So here's another bracelet um, with a really pretty red gem in it. Um... Uh, it's hard to focus. This is why I like doing it on the table, like, but, okay, you can kind of see it right there. Um, this one is not stamped. Um, this probably is, like, stainless steel or something. It doesn't feel like, um, silver to me, but I don't know. I'm not the authority on, uh, determining what metals are. Oops. Okay, so this one... It says it retails for $39 Devotion Heart Necklace, and it's by Hallie Joy. So there's that part, and it's really pretty. It's a heart with, like, different jewels in it. That's very beautiful. And then we've got a heart. That's really pretty. Uh, hmm, yeah, I don't know what that one is made out of. It, I don't know. We'll have to... We'll have to research this. <laughs> this is going to be fun. And then we have a pair of earrings. Oops, they fell out of the little cardboard. It's um, real simple style. And they are just gold. Just kind of simple. Real simple. They're, they're real simple style. And then this is going to be a very short unboxing. Okay. So these just look like really cheapy costume jewelry type stuff, like, like really cheapy. So I don't usually like selling that kind of stuff. It's just, well, plus they're really ugly. <laughs> and then here's another really gaudy pair of earrings. Okay, and then um, last but not least, this one is a Halle Joy. It says Hope. Retails for $29, and it is... A chain like so and it's got a cross on it okay so I am going to try to do a little bit of research and see if I can find out any any information about this stuff all right be right back okay I'm back so I did a little bit of research and I came to the conclusion that um, the majority of the, the the pieces of jewelry are made by a brand called real simple style which is on this 
And the reason why no is because it says R, see those initials, or I guess they're initials, abbreviations, RS. And so, like, most of these pieces have that RS. I don't know if you can see it. Like, right there, it says RS. So, anyway, I looked up Real Simple Style, and it's a company that recently went out of business, so probably that's why... I'm getting this in a liquidation box, I'm guessing. Um, so I looked up one necklace um, on uh, Amazon and I did find it. And it is this one right here. And it does retail for on Amazon for, I think it was, what, what did I say? Yeah, $42. So that is on there. And it says it's made out of rhodium and 14 karat gold plated. So I was like, what's rhodium? So I looked it up and rhodium is a really interesting um, precious metal. Um, it is actually the most valuable precious metal of all precious metals, which I thought was really fascinating. Um, and the reason it is so valuable is A, it is really good for strengthening gold and silver because, you know, gold is malleable. It's soft and so is silver. So what a lot of jewelry makers will do is they'll take the rhodium and they will plate it on top of your gold and your silver, which um, adds extra shine and it strengthens the metal so it resists um, scratches and scuff marks and things like that. And number two of why rhodium is so expensive is due to the fact that it's only found in nature and it's really hard to extract. I think they extract it from plat platinum I think um so the price of rhodium is I believe it's for one ounce it's fourteen thousand dollars um for a gram it's about five hundred dollars a gram um so pretty interesting mineral or pre precious um metal um so yeah I kind of learned a lot just now I didn't know any of that um Oh, and another thing is rhodium, they don't make pieces of jewelry out of solid rhodium because it's very brittle. So that's very interesting too. So because this is 14 karat gold and rhodium, um, I could see why it might be worth 42 retail, but um, I will probably resell these for probably $20, I'm thinking, 15 maybe. I, I really don't know. I'd have to price them. So this one, this one and this one these are all for sure real simple style so i would guess that they are all rhodium have rhodium plated there they are rhodium plated so um yeah um and then the two bracelets um these two these are both uh sterling silver um yeah so that's very cool um this one i i, I don't know anything about the one with the red gem so yeah don't know about that one and then these ones the ones from um hallie joy there's no yeah hallie joy um these are made out of i believe it's stainless steel yeah um and they're not magnetic i was testing all the jewelry with a with a magnet because i read like how you can test if something is gold or silver is if it's non-magnetic, um, it has a chance of being gold or silver. Well, there's other metals that are non-magnetic like tin, I think, um, aluminum. So yeah, I, I learned a lot about metal this uh, round. So um, yeah, so I think I have pretty much exhausted my knowledge of precious metals at the moment. Um, yeah, would I buy this again? Um, not really sure. I don't know how I can resell this and if I can, because I paid six dollars up front. Um, selling it locally, most of my customers don't like sp spending more than five dollars, but we'll see. It's got a really cool precious metal and it's 14 karat gold plated, so that's cool. Yay. Um, anyway, um, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Turn on the notifications and I'll see you in the next one. Right, bye.